Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us for the NACTA, NACTA webinar series. My name is Lorene Romero. I am going to be your moderator for today's webinar. Today, our special guest is going to be the one and only Mark Junet. He is the National Sales Director for Emerald Waterways. He and I have worked together many times in the past. If you've been on some of our national trade shows, I know you would have met Mark. For those of you who are in the San Francisco Bay Area, you may have seen him at one of our Lunch and Learns a year or two ago. Great guy, full of information, so we're going to get this party started. He is a huge supporter of NACTA and ASTA. He's going to talk a little bit about how they work together with Emerald. I want to remind everybody that this is being recorded, so that way, if you haven't been able to listen to the entire session, I will be sending you a post-meeting link for you to be able to find it on the NACTA YouTube channel. And speaking of the NACTA YouTube channel, I want to remind everybody, if you have not already subscribed to it, I encourage you to do so. I will send a link on how to sign up for that. It will hold some of our past webinars. It will show you some tips and tricks. Lisa Watson often puts in very short little recordings that talk about how to update your one sheet. If you need to change something on your NACTA profile, these short little tips and tricks videos will do the trick. Hey, there you go. That's what they're for. So for now, I am going to put myself on mute and I will turn the reins over to Mark. Uh, he's going to do his presentation. So Mark, when you're ready for me to come back, just say, hey, Lorraine, come back. I'll put myself off mute and I will be here for you for any Q&A at the very end. Here you go, Mark. Uh, thanks so much, Lorene. And you know, I just love your energy. Uh, it's always great working with you. Uh, you're like my sister from another mister. <laughs> um, you know, you're a go-getter and you have a, a passionate, sincere caring for the industry and for your colleagues, as do we. And happy May, everybody. May 1st, rocking and rolling. Um, welcome to the NACTA Emerald webinar. So glad you're able to join us and share some time to learn about the best deluxe River cruise out there, and we're going to get in some details. But kind of like Lorraine, let's do some homework. Let's grab a pen. Make sure you grab a notepad. We're going to go over some specifics about Emerald. And some of you may not even be very aware of Emerald Waterways and kind of how it's positioned, as well as most importantly, some of the unique selling points that you can get over to your clients so that they can kind of check out this latest fleet out there on the river. So let's just jump into it. Let's kind of get things moving along and uh, thank you again for that nice intro Lorene. Uh, I am Mark Jeanette, National Sales Manager for Emerald Waterways and I've worked here now, oh, geez, going on four years and it's been a terrific ride or I guess <laughs> dare I say a cruise. Um, speaking of, usually a lot of people ask me, you know, Emerald Waterways, that we're familiar with it, looks like you've been on a couple of them and I have and have been very blessed to not just to be in this industry but also work for Scenic as our mothership, that's the big company, and then all the other companies underneath it. And usually when I go on my cruises, people I say, well, what was it like, and, and what did you do? And it kind of really depends how I felt that day. You guys know how it is. You wake up one morning, and either you want to jump up and grab your breakfast, and then head out and check out the sites, or go on an excursion, or maybe just hang out there on the top right off the terrace and enjoy the sunrise as it comes up uh, over the hill. Maybe you want to get more active, uh, and that's something that's very much in play these days. Uh, you know, today's 60-year-old is certainly not yesterday's 60-year-old, and they want to get out and see the sights and feel the fresh air on their face. So down in the left-hand corner, my new best friends, Adele and Liesl, that was a mother-daughter team that did our bike tour from Milk to Dernstein. And usually the, the biggest seller, the best most popular itinerary is at Nuremberg to Budapest, so that's where a lot of us usually go. I can't forget Victor, you know, my, my bartender there who always knew what I wanted to drink by the second day, he knew what my favorite go-to was, you know, when I'm out there on the cobblestone streets working off those calories. So it's a great way to go and check out the world, right, and check out everything along the rivers. Uh, but it, more and more, you're going to start hearing about the scenic family of brands. So this is just a quick slide to remind those that may not know that Scenic is the mothership, and then underneath Scenic 
we have a number of brands, both Scenic Luxury Cruises, Emerald Waterways, Scenic Eclipse, which is the world's first discovery yacht coming out soon. So maybe you want to scribble those down. And, uh, you know, just as a secret, don't tell anybody yet, but look for it in the fourth quarter of this year. We're going to actually bring our tour product to the U.S. market. So that's going to be an exciting thing. But today is all about Emerald and talking about Emerald Waterways. If you're not familiar with us, you may have seen us out in the trades, out in different national publications. We're doing things to kind of get the work out. So from Wall Street Journal to all the different Times uh, newspapers out there, sometimes we get picked up on different wires for travel news, or in this particular case, here in San Diego, they talked about uh, going on a hassle-free trip with river cruises. And what a great way to kind of position it with your clients. When they ask about, well, what's the river cruising all about? What's the big thing to do? You know, hassle-free is one term we sometimes don't use often enough as far as going on a river cruise. USA Today Travel, they picked us up uh, last year or so. It was a, a nice little article and some other pictures about Emerald, different areas around the ship, different destinations. You'll also see us in some different national magazines. So obviously Travel and Leisure, uh, Bon Appetit. And again, all of this is to do is get the word out so people get to know the brand so then when you're promoting us and sharing it with them, that they get familiar with it and they go for it. And this just in, this week, we're going to be on Wheel of Fortune again. And I heard from a little bird that we're actually going to be giving away a grand prize. So uh, keep an eye out on that. I haven't gotten a date or a, a time on that. But then again, think about the demographic that watches that. It's a good place for us to be as far as branding. Again, to help you, help us, help your client get on Emerald and Waterways. And with that, of course, our number one best partner is you. Now, our travel advisors, our travel agents, we absolutely appreciate all the behind the scenes efforts you do to promote, to tie up the loose ends, do all those little small behind the scenes things that your guests and your clients never even think about or worry about because you guys are professionals and you're go-getters and you're good sellers of travel and it's uh, exposing the world for everybody to make it that just much more intimate. So thank you for not just being there, but also for letting folks keep calm and, and use a travel agent. Well done. So today we'll talk about this river cruise phenomenon. I know some of you uh, are already booking river cruise. Uh, believe it or not, I still get people at shows sometimes that say, yeah, I'm just thinking about getting into this river cruise selling. And I'm, what do you think? Is it, is it popular? And oh my goodness, it is white hot popular. Uh, you can't see or pick up a trade magazine anymore without having a, a river cruise article, destination, or experience kind of being written about. I'll give you a little bit of background about Emerald Waterways. We'll talk about the starships and the Emerald Plus. And here's the key feature, a thing to write down as well. Emerald is about the exceptional value. And I'll prove that as we go along, and I'll share with you some of the partner benefits and different tools we have available. You know, probably the first thing we need to step back a little bit and realize is, you know, why are river cruises so popular in the first place? And if you think about it, here in the state, no matter where you're at, and we're going to tell me that we've got members from Florida, you know, up in New York, over in Colorado, out here on the West Coast, you think about the rivers where you live, and you may or may not appreciate what they mean to the people that were there a couple hundred years ago. Because again, America is so young, only a couple hundred years old. But then you think about the old country. So if I was able to take a time machine and transport you back 2,000, 3,000 years ago, back to the old country in Europe, and then you start thinking about what rivers have meant to the people that live in those areas all this time. So from the basics of food and water, the amazing history that is wrapped around the rivers. Why? Well, that's just where the food and water was. That's where the civilization grew. That's where the people came together. That's where goods and services got started getting transported up and down the river. There's amazing mythology and there's amazing strife, if you think about it, with the different country borders that went back and forth and using these rivers as national symbols that they're very proud of. And of course, now we get to move commerce a ton up and down the rivers. You know, the original toll roads that were the rivers are now these beautiful things we get to go and recreate on and see the beauty that surrounds the rivers. But you can't forget to go back to that history. It's 
man, there's some amazing stories. <laughs> uh, sometimes I say tongue in cheek when people have never been on a river cruise, I say, well, it's kind of like Games of Thrones without the dragons. <laughs> go and check it out. Go have a terrific time. But typically, this picture here kind of symbolizes why river cruising is number one. You're on this amazing, intimate, great, gorgeous hotel. It pulls right up to this port. Maybe it's a major city like Vienna or Budapest, or maybe it's these villages that you've never heard of. And your clients are going to get wowed by going somewhere like Dernstein. And they'll be walking along this storybook village. And what's going to happen is they're going to smell this, this wonderful fragrance. And they're going to be drawn into this little shop. And maybe it's the best fresh pastries that were being made that morning. Or maybe it's this apricot jam that they're going to sample. And they meet the shopkeeper and come to find out she's the great, great, great granddaughter of the original owner from a couple hundred years ago, and the family still owns the orchard on the other side of the hill of the apricot orchard, and that's where the jam that you're tasting comes from. And ah, sometimes that is just a simple story of what creates such a memorable experience when they just walk right off the ship into these great storybook villages. Other reasons that people love river cruising, and in our surveys that we get back is certainly number one is getting up and close to the destination. Enjoying the variety of the different ports every day. Um, of course, there's no inside cabin on Emerald Waterway. Everyone has a river view. That's kind of nice, right? You're right there on the water. And there's no better way to immerse yourself right into the locals and get the different tastes and to get the different smells and exchange the different cultural icons and stories and experiences. You know, one of the things that I forgot is sometimes people go on river cruising because their heritage is from those same areas and they kind of want to learn where they came from and of course on the ship itself it's nice to be able to meet different folks from around the world and so here's another one to write down usually the national or the uh, different nations that people are coming from that on the river with emerald waterway is going to be australian and new zealanders and americans and canadians and brits and then pretty much anyone else speaking English. It could be South Africa, it could be from Canada, or excuse me, from Brazil. Hope they speak Canada, uh, English up in Canada. But they speak in French too. Maybe they're from parts unknown, but it's all English all the time on the ship and on shore, which makes a great cultural exchange for meeting people right there with you. Now to share with you a little bit where we came from, you know that yes, Phoenix is the mothership, um, and along the way, Glenn Maroney, our owner, in 30 years of doing business, we just celebrated our anniversary this last year, starting this tour company down in Warrnambool, Australia, and then he started doing some different innovative things. Like on the picture there you see, which is not that big of a deal these days, but back then it was pretty significant to have two different entry and exit points on a motor coach. And the number one reason that Glenn brought that idea to Australia was for guest experience. And that's a biggie for him. It's actually a big thing in our philosophy and our culture of our company is get the, the folks off the ship or off the motor coach sooner so they can experience and enjoy the destination that much quicker, get them back on and off to the next destination. It's just that way of, of saving time and saving minutes all about guest experience. Well, along the way, we got into river cruise, you know, scenic in 2008. And then in 2014, Seeing that there was an underserved four-star deluxe market, we brought out Emerald Waterways. And right off the bat, we already started winning some awards. So there on the bottom, you'll see Cruise Critic awarded us the best new river ship the first year out on a maiden voyage. We had uh, four ships then, and now we are building and we actually nearly doubled our fleet this year with three new ships. But not to be uh, you know, too quick about it, we also received not just best value last year, 2015, but also uh, best river line for value for this very last year in, in 2016. So we're crossing our fingers through 2017, feeling pretty good about the fact that we're going to deliver that again. And there's a word as well that probably isn't the top of mind when your clients are thinking about booking river cruise. But if you think about your own travel dollars, don't you want most bang for your buck? I know I do. And that word value means a ton when it comes down to what am I getting for what I'm putting out there and experience and return 
food, excursions, you name it. So why Emerald Waterways? Well, again, to kind of position ourselves to cover the mass of the market, that nice four-star deluxe type of experience for folks looking to have just enough. Not too much, not too little, but just enough, and then they can add choices as they want. A little bit like Goldilocks, if you will. <laughs> so here's our fleet. We've got the sky, dawn, star, sun. This year we're coming out with Liberté, the Radiance, and Destiny on some different rivers. Primarily the Rhine, Mine, Danube, for the, uh, and then we have the Destiny. We've got the Liberté for south of France. To show you kind of a quick deck plan, uh, we have about 180 or so guests that go on most of our fleet, and these are starships, and we pretty much have like a four to one guest to crew ratio, pretty nice. And the nice thing too is since they are the newest fleet out there, we're able to do a lot of innovative features on the ship, not just in terms of space and the suite, but also in some of the common areas and some added features I'll show you as we go. Now we do have some different builds on different waterways because of the topography of the river, or maybe some of the craggy type of turns or the locks, and we have to kind of design them a little bit different. So the Liberté here is only 138 guests, and that's south of France. That's fantastic. Now our guest to crew ratio gets even better. And then as we go down to the Radiance, it's going to be 112 guests, and this is going to go on the Doro. And again, that's specifically because of what we're dealing with, the river underneath the water and making our ways around. So there'll be some features that will uh, vary by the ship a little bit. Uh, mostly it's about suites, the pools, and the bike availability. So all the details are on the website. You can check it out for whatever itinerary you're looking for for your client. And there, ah, there is a beautiful shot of an Emerald Starship. Again, newest fleet on the river. Big, beautiful windows. You know, floor to ceiling in pretty much 99% of the ship. Um, some great restaurants great areas along the sun deck but let's just take a look at not just the value but we'll also take a look around the ship a little bit oh I, we keep, keep talking about value um emerald plus you know this is one of those things where we basically have an excursion included at every single port and not just like a walking tour I, i'll show you details of what emerald um, plus is all about here in a little bit but probably the number one and two value proposition the things you need to communicate to your client is the fact on Emerald that all tips and gratuities are included, no matter if it's on the ship or when they're out doing the excursions with us for the guides and the experts that go along and taking these great places. So uh, tip and gratuities are included. Here's number two, airport transfers. They're included, no matter how they book their air. If they book it with you, with points, what have you, it's nice to know that that's included. Day of embarkation, disembarkation, or if they do the pre-post with us, we've got them covered there too. Uh, we do amazing training for our team. So, you know, the three things that your clients are going to judge us on or kind of measure us against are going to be what's the ship like, what's the service like, and what happens on shore, right? Those are the three things usually boils down to. So ships, fantastic. We're going to show you the star ships all around here in a second. Service-wise, English-speaking, very well-trained. We get a lot of our folks from fine resorts or we'll put them for our own very high level training to make sure they're delivering to our guests, your clients at the top level. And of course, a lot of the local guides and experts fight to work for our company because we pay handsomely. And the biggest thing, we pay on time, which is a, kind of a, a rare instance sometimes with some of the companies they deal with. And then we do have optionals available. Uh, these are pre-sellable, so you can actually help your client customize their trip as they go along. And more importantly for you, they're commissionable. On a week-long cruise, you might have five to seven discover boards or optionals available to offer them. And then there's beer and wine at lunch and dinner. Um, if they want, there's also drink packages that are very reasonable. I think the beer package is something like nine euro a day, and the all you want to drink ever is like 19 euro a day. When you compare that to other cruises, you'll realize, wow, that is a terrific trick, value that they can add if they want. But maybe you have a non-drinker, and then no problem. Then we've got mocktails and all the coffees and teas and stuff things available for them. There's also uh, the bottled water in their cabins. Uh, they've got a little mini fridge there so they can bring stuff in from the shore, uh, and that makes it kind of nice. But the excursion every day, the nice restaurants, a beautiful service. I mean, that's what it's all about. So we're going to welcome them on in a nice, warm reception. 
kind of clinks over glass. And then we're going to take them around the ship and they're going to enjoy their suites and their staterooms and everything the starships have to offer. And if you haven't seen an Emerald Starship up front or in person, maybe on our 360 degree tours on our website, you're going to recognize a lot of glass and mirrors and metal, uh, very modern in design, beautiful uh, decor. In fact, Glenn, our owner's wife, Karen, is the one that runs all the interior design team. She's a master decorator herself, and all the brands she oversees. And you can see a lot of her fine touches on the different brands, and in particular to Emerald, it's uh, this very modern look. No surprise, one of the more popular areas, and usually where the you know port talks are, and where some of the on ship demonstrations happen right here in the Horizon Bar and Lounge. Lots of different space all around. So if you got twos and fours and sixes that kind of want to tuck away to themselves, they can. But as you look at some of these shots, you'll see how gorgeous these floor to ceiling windows really pull in all the sights all around that they get to see. And it is just a terrific way to go along. Now, as a river cruise, you know, you're limited in space, but at the same time, we also want to kind of influence what happens on ships. So we'll do stuff like bring regional entertainers or singers or dance troops, things like cooking demonstrations or sometimes uh, even like a um, glass blowing demonstration or lectures about the European Union. It's just a way to kind of enhance that destination of where we're going. A couple of restaurants on Emerald is going to be Reflections Restaurant. Uh, it's a beautiful four-course meal, white linen service. Um, the thing with reflection is probably important for your, your client to know is it's open seating, meaning we have dining hours, of course. They can come again, uh, you know, two of them want to come up to the maitre d' and ask for a table of two or four or eight, however many friends they've met or brought with them. Uh, we've got these uh, first-class deluxe hot and uh, cold buffet breakfasts. They've got an egg dish in there all the health choices they're looking for, like smoothies and whatnot. Or they also have order off the menu so they can get some simple items if they don't want to go through the buffet line. So that's lunch and dinner. And then for, excuse me, that's breakfast and lunch. And then for dinner, it is this four course uh, meal. Again, beer and wine available for them. And if any of you guys are foodies and want to be, you know, an executive chef on board Emerald Waterways, well, I hope you got a really big shopping cart. Because this, this would be what you need to fill up for a seven night cruise. Only about 1,900 fresh eggs, maybe a thousand pounds of fish or 500 pounds of potatoes. Ooh, that's a lot of feeling. Uh, now I'll be happy to help you when it gets down lower on the list. So if you guys want that 300 pounds of chocolate or 700 pints of ice cream, I'm your man. I'll be happy to carry it for you right to that big shopping cart. So that's pretty amazing, right? That's what we usually take to feed uh, an entire Emerald departure just for a week. And boy, do we feed them. Ah, it's just gorgeous food. Um, the level and the service, the flavors. Uh, sometimes we'll do regional types of dinners, and of course we'll do the captain's dinner. But when we do regional dinners, we're kind of bringing the flavor of the shore and the destination we're going to on board so they can check out like the Hungarian goulashes, or maybe they can do a little schnitzel when they're going through Vienna. But when I say we're doing some pretty nice menu items, I'm talking here some the capaccio to the tiger prawn to the chateau briand uh, one night or again give you my favorite the baked alaska emerald style you know so this is kind of an example of what your clients would expect as far as their menu items the other restaurant is the terrace now it's kind of one of my favorites i'm an orange county guy down here in california um, and i like getting outside as much as i can um, so we've got the terrace kind of an interior and an exterior this is great for early riser breakfast or late riser lunches. Uh, they've got all the little goodies you can have and the fruits and the sandwiches and some side items you can order. And it's a, a, just a nice environment just to kind of hang and chill. A little more casual, of course, than a reflection. Then you get up to the sun deck. So after breakfast, maybe you're going to walk around and, and check out, see what's up there. You know, maybe grab a putter and work on your golf game a little bit and keep yourself you know, polished up for the time when you get back home. Maybe have a rousing game of tic-tac-toe. Now, can I be honest? When I first saw this on our sun deck, on our ship, I thought, oh, come on. Tic-tac-toe? Who's really going to use it? But it is amazing. <laughs> the fun kind of uh, challenges that people have with one another using our life-size tic-tac-toe there on the sun deck. 
And there's also got uh, a walking track. I mean, we don't allow anybody up there till after eight in the morning, thank goodness. But it's a nice walking track to get their exercise on. Or inside the ship, not only is this great salon if you want to get your hair done up or get just kind of refreshed, there's also a little gym in there. So we've got, you know, a, a bicycle machine, got some light weight, got my favorite machine to use. And I love getting on the rowing machine there in the middle. Because I can get on the rowing machine, I can look out the window while we're underway, and if the ship is moving and I'm rowing at the same time, ah, oh, I just get this sense of accomplishment. I'm like, yeah, I'm moving this thing, <laughs> and it really helps get a couple more, uh, you know, strokes in when you're on the rowing machine when you feel like you're actually doing something. Then to the suites. Ah, let's see what these suites are all about. I'm going to tease you with the owner suite. We'll come back to that in a little bit. Let's start the state room. Uh, they started 162 square feet. They got a five square foot window up there. Depending on the ship, there's either 10 or 20 of these. And this is on the Riviera deck. Um, do note on Emerald that we have single suites available too. So for the solo travelers, we've got two of those available and they'd be here on the Riviera deck. And then on the Liberté that we've got a couple of two, just a little bit smaller square footage wise, because again, the configuration of that ship. But these are great suites. This is usually where we go and we're going fam. Very comfortable. Egyptian cotton linen. Got a couple of nice chairs that are hang out with. The TV has loaded information from maps of uh, river cam on there that we can see where we're going, movies, music, you name it. And then the bathrooms are very nice. Uh, I stand six foot four and I stand right underneath that top shower head there. But it's also got that lever on there that you can kind of move it and adjust it as you need be or just take it right off of the holder. Uh, the other thing about the uh, bathrooms and the stateroom is they've got these great, what I call quiet closed do uh, doors. I'm sure there's a, an official term for it, but you know how, how you can't slam the cabinet. You ever do that where you're in a hotel room and you hear the guy next door going through all the cabinetry? Well, these are quiet closed so that you can't even close them fast. You can't close them because they're that soft little thing. And that's a small touch. That's one of those little innovative things that we may have put into the design of the Starship. But it's just one of those uh, nice views that it's like, huh, that's kind of a cool thing to have. Now getting up to the bigger suites, we've got our balcony suites. There's typically about 48 of these on the regular uh, suite, uh, 180 square feet. And notice this is an interior type of balcony. However, it's got that big floor to ceiling drop down window that goes down about halfway, kind of like your car window does. And now you have a little more space. You've got that open air coming through the balcony. Um, I just always warn our clients that those windows are not privacy windows. <laughs> so if you grab that included robe one morning and you think to go out to that floor thing window and get a good stretch on it, just be careful because those aren't privacy glass. That's, you know, glass that people can see through, but thankfully there's a curtain, uh, you know, should you not want them to see or show any of your good stuff off to uh, your neighbor. Then we get to the balcony suite. Now we've got eight of these, it's over 200 square feet it's up on the horizon deck. And if you notice the balcony here, it's actually an exterior balcony. Now. There's a wall of windows that encloses uh, better than a slider. And then there's a couple of chairs and a table out there and there's that curtain, but you can kind of uh, enjoy the more square footage, more space. And at this point, you get an espresso machine in the suite as well as you'll have the Emerald Concierge service, which is pretty much like uh, available room service for you. And I teased on it earlier, and I'll kind of show you now the owner suite. Usually about four of these uh, on their ship, 315 square feet. Nice to have that separate area where you can kind of hang out and entertain, as well as the divider that has the separate sleeping arrangement, sleeping area. Uh, at this level, uh, your laundry is complimentary. You've got a fully stocked mini bar that you can have customized however you'd like. There's an iPad waiting in, in there for you. And on the Liberté and the Radiance, a little bit smaller ship, uh, there's only two owner suites. And as you guys probably know that Sail River Cruise, the suites that usually sell out first are the owner suites, right? And those solo travelers or those single uh, cabins. And why not? I mean, this is what we want. We want to enjoy these balconies. And, and much of the ship does have nice balconies. You do exactly this and see the sights. Or maybe watch ABC. You guys know what ABC is another beautiful castle that's right that's what ab stands for i've heard other people say another bloody castle i'm not sure what they mean by that but uh, another beautiful castle as it goes along 
And speaking of innovation, you know, this is something really unique. So Emerald, when it came out, it came out with this heated pool off the second back, off the back. It's got that retractable roof at the top. Another picture up right here. So no matter what the weather is, you can use and enjoy that pool. And if you look around, this is a very cool and very chill space. About 30 or so people can kind of sit in the seat. A lot of people kind of stand around sometimes. Real cool place to have a drink. Um, have a Wait, have a drink? Yeah, when, you know what? There's a bar tucked over here in the corner. Maybe you want to just grab a book and relax. Um, day or night, it's available. Uh, but then some nights what we'll do is we'll actually will do movie nights. So, uh, yes, it has a pool-size bar, it has that retractable roof, it's a heated pool, it's 18 by 12, but at night, we convert it, the floor of that pool comes up, we dry it off, configure the seats, drop down the screen, and we turn it into a movie cinema night. So sometimes we'll do like Sound of Music, we'll also show some of the more recent movies that are coming out, and be popping the popcorn and enjoying a cocktail or sodas, watching a, a great movie. Um, and then this year, what we're introducing is more what we're calling lounge night, where we turn it into kind of a more energetic type of little uh, lounge nightclub atmosphere with different lighting and different fun drink specials and things like that. So keep an eye out for what we're going to do there. And early on, I talked about Emerald Plus. You know, these are the included excursions at every single port. And remember, I told you it was better than just a walking tour. Uh, yeah, we have those as well, and usually those are kind of uh, upgraded walking tours that have extra sites or little behind-the-scenes things. But now I'm talking about some of the other things, from enjoying a, a music and dancing at a Czech tavern or doing um, the Black Forest cake demonstration uh, at the family-owned Gastoff, or the one that we get the most positive back is this home-hosted afternoon tea. That's where we'll take our guests off in the motor coaches and we'll take, you know, four to six, to eight of them at a time and drop them off at different Slovakian families' homes. And there they've got you know, little fresh pastries that have made for you, little coffee and tea. And what happens, you sit in the home and you have this wonderful exchange of what it feels like to, to live there, the history of where they came from, the strife, the different wars, the good things, where the kids are. It's just this amazing exchange and a, a real immersion into the local culture and I got to tell you we just get so many positive uh, comments coming back on just that experience alone again these are included so when we talk about emerald waterways sometimes we say it's nicely inclusive this is what we mean by emerald plus terrific value uh, and, and things that really are important to people now to enhance their trip we absolutely have some optionals we have discover more options uh, one of the examples is in a style, they'll have a choice to either go to Salzburg here and go do the whole like sound of music experience and, and just enjoy that incredible city. Or maybe uh, in Vienna, they want to do the Schoenbohm Palace and go throughout that whole thing and learn about the Habsburgs and go up in the backside where, you know, the mistress quarters and apartment tour. That's a terrific uh, optional that you can offer to your client. Again, free, sellable, missionable. But again, enhancing their trip. Also, Chesky Krumlov. If you guys haven't been there to this broke fairy tale, uh, I would call it village, but some people might call it a city or town. It's a great way to get in there and we take them over the full day with like a local guide talking about the history on the way over. They get there, they get to live it, smell it, love it, and they have a meal, and they get time, fun of time on their own to go walk through all these streets and meet the shopkeepers and see the different sites. So again, that's a nice way that you can offer this to your client. And kind of like I alluded to before with the 60-year-old of yesterday not being the 60-year-old of today, we are getting and staying ahead of the curve of folks that want to do more biking and more hiking and more excursions. And in fact, this is a short list. We've got much more of these available, uh, and you'll see that on our itinerary on emeraldwaterways.com. But this is something that more of our guests are seeking and we want to deliver it for them so they can come back and thank you so much for getting them on there to keep them active while they're going along. As far as itineraries go, well, we, our seven ships, you'd be amazed. We've, we've got all the popular routes pretty well covered what you're looking for. In fact, number one and number two is right there at the top. Danube Delights at Nuremberg to Budapest, that's number one. 
uh, for us West Coasters, really anyone getting over to travel, if they hadn't been to Prague, I always encourage you guys to do the Prague extension. So they'll go into Prague for an extra three days, and then we'll get them transferred over to the river and get on the Danube. So there's a nice way to do it. Number two uh, popular, and especially if they've got the extra time, is that Splendors of Europe. 15 days coming from Amsterdam down to Budapest. That's a great way to do it because they get a flavor of different rivers, right? They get the Rhine at the top. They do the little connectors that the Germans dug to connect the Rhine to the Danube, and then they'll go along the Danube. And boy, if they're going to go and, and do it upright, that's definitely the itinerary to, to put them on. I realize there's lots of other ones in here that are great and fun, different times of the year. So, you know, you get your tulip times, when you do up the, the Netherlands and the Belgium, uh, you have Eastern Europe. Maybe those have kind of been there, done that, but also want to go out there um, to the Iron Curtain. And don't forget the newer itineraries we're coming out with, right? So the Southern France, that's going to be our brand new ship. And we just got that on the waters and been hearing great feedback already from clients and partners alike. But for those that haven't been river cruising or maybe just want any refresher or of where you've been and where you want to send your clients. You know, Danube Delights, again, is that number one itinerary that folks usually go on first. And we think it's because of that song we all know well, right? <laughs> the good old Blue Danube. I think that people are familiar with it, as well as, of course, where the river travels through. The Danube Delights with Prague, you know, uh, get to the Charles Castle, uh, get up and see the history learn all about the Czech Republic. So this is where we get them into Prague for a few days and then transfer them over to the river. So to keep that one in mind. The Splendors of Europe, this is at Amsterdam down to Budapest. So you get the tulips, you get the windmills, go all the way through, you get yourself down and enjoy Budapest. Lots of different countries, lots of different personalities along the way too, as far as not just the countries and the cultures, but also the rivers. The river, those two rivers are quite unique in their own right how the Rhine is and the busyness and the where the castles are to how the Danube is and especially that little mine connector that keeps it all kind of going smooth. So lots of different um, itineraries, even though we just have the seven ships for your clients to enjoy all around Europe, south of France, you name it. And of course, if they just want Rhine, we've got that too. So if it's just, they've already done Danube and they want to do Rhine or vice versa, we've got some different options and different itineraries for them to choose from. So here's that sensations of uh, southern France. This is where our brand new ship, Liberté, uh, going into Chalon sur Saône to pick up the river and then work our way down to Arles or vice versa. And then typically you'll fly them out of Nice or you'll extend them for a little surfing trip, right? You can do a little cruise, a little tour as well. And then we have a new ship on the Doro. So it's eight days starting in Porto, working its way out and then back. Of course, the ports along the river are one thing, and then you have this extension after Salamanca that will take them out to you to enjoy that excursion that's included. And then just announced, like literally last week, so slides a little bit different, uh, we are going back to Southeast Asia. So if you guys have been booking Emerald, you might remember two years ago, we actually had Southeast Asia in our itinerary. Now, this is not a starship, we're actually uh, chartering the navigator here. You see a big, beautiful picture of that. And those that know, uh, and there's more pictures of this on our website, uh, the suites are gorgeous. You know, it's a different design, yet it's still to that level of emerald and then some, especially being in Southeast Asia. And I was fortunate to be in uh, Vietnam, Cambodia uh, last year and to see and meet the people and the warmth and the genuine hospitality and to marvel, really, at that history and the kind of the energy and the kind of young entrepreneurials that are coming up and making great change. So you've got that same kind of old world, new world, and the blending of the two. It's a beautiful thing to see and, and to be there and witness. So check it out. And again, this is great for your river cruisers that have kind of been there, done that with some stuff in Europe, but just kind of want to do something different. And this is one I would suggest that you offer them. Magnificent Mekong, eight days. And again, you could always pre and post and add some different tour elements. So uh, another thing I'm going to ask you to write down is, of course, emeraldwaterways.com. That's nice and simple. That's the website. In the top left-hand corner of the home page, you're going to see the agent portal. And when you go there, you're going to see this page here on the right that has Express Book. 
which is our online booking engine. So make sure you register for that. That's going to allow you to be able to book 24 seven. It's got great deck plans. You'll see availability right away. And it gives you the ability to quote your client right from it. Uh, you can always test it out on yourself to kind of see how it comes across. I always encourage you to kind of go and check it out and try it out on yourself. You can order brochures. You can learn about your sales team from around the country because I know a lot of you guys are calling from different parts around. You always email me. We'll get you in touch with the right folks that you need to. Uh, there's a comparison chart. I'll show you that here in a second. But there's one right in the middle I really want you to be aware of. I'll make a note. The Emerald Specialist Program. Uh, that goes in depth. And it's a terrific program. Probably most of you would take maybe 20, 30 minutes to get through. But what happens is once you do and you make an Emerald booking within six months of completing the course, then we're going to send you $100 as a thanks, not just for the course, but of course, and an extra bonus on getting that booking. Uh, show of hands, who does groups? Can I see your hands? <laughs> I wish I could see your hands because that's one thing that, that Emerald really excels at. Um, it's the right level of rover cruise if you will it's the right inclusion that a lot of groups are looking for we've got that great space there in the pool area that we can actually kind of reserve for things like we have doctors sometimes we'll do continued education back there or sometimes we'll have red hat lake uh, society ladies that kind of do their gatherings and meetings so if you've got groups bring them to emerald we'll take great care of them for and with you and there's all sorts of other stuff on there more information about our discover more optionals and what that's all about and different policies and deck plans you need. Here's that comparison chart I was going to share with you. And, and we didn't put it together. Actually, River Cruise Advisor did. And it was a terrific thing to do. Because frankly, I think us in the River Cruise category need to do a better job for you guys to help differentiate between all the different companies that are out there now. It's kind of like oceans were, you know, 25, 30 years ago when at one point all oceans were kind of the same, but now all the different ocean liners and ocean cruise companies have all the differentiation. Well, we do too. And again, it's Scenic and Emerald as the sister company, five star and four star. Whereas Emerald is that just right, right? That nicely inclusive company probably goes head to head with a good company like AMA, uh, some of the one, other ones out there. But has a nice comparison chart and it's available on our website that you can say, okay, client, let me send this to you. So then you can look and see what's important to you. So if it's important that all your drinks are included or that it's important that you have Bicycles. By the way, Emerald does have about 25 bicycles available, except on the Doro because of the topography of the mountain. Uh, fitness, if you want to keep their fitness up. If you got a certain number of restaurants, you name it. Port chargers, are they included? On Emerald, they're included. You know, so it's those little value adds that really make a difference when you're kind of comparing left to right and up and down for your client. But do the math. Do the math for them. Because when you say, oh, all tips and gratuities are included and all airport transfers are included, they have no idea what that means. They might think, well, like a $10 Uber? <laughs> What's that mean? No, no, no. It's like $110 airport transfer is included. Otherwise, if you did this on your own, that would be out of pocket. Oh, well, that makes a difference. We're on all the medias out there, all the social medias you're looking for, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and more. But go join us. Go get connected with us. We'll uh, have different offers, a lot of different news that comes up there on a regular basis. Um, and then just kind of to help recap a lot of things that are going to help you promote this to your valued client is that award-winning value, right? You can't miss. Cruise Critic 15 and 16, Best River Cruise in 14, and then some. We've got these brand new ships coming out. The innovations of the ship, the pool, the cinema, the just right as far as the different restaurants, the service levels are amazing. Uh, and if they want more, they can get it. Drink packages, excursions. It's available to them there. Again, those groups, we got all the groups and the different things they're going to want from different amenities, different offers and whatnot. So certainly uh, remind yourself, make notes, what kind of groups that this could be good for. Maybe you have a church group in the area. Maybe there's some other affinity or fraternal groups that would be great for you to check out. And we're here to support you with this. We want to be able to let you know that we're going to be there presentation-wise, support, you name it. And the last big one I'm going to ask you to really write down and underline is something that no other company out there has. So the scenic family of brands, this last season, we partnered with a major insurance company. And this is something that is not out of pocket 
for you or your client whatsoever. In fact, the Phoenix family brands, and here's Emerald Waterways, cruise guarantee. If you look at the screen, you're going to see what that stands for and the basics and more details on the website. Your client is automatically covered for their cruise for any delays due to weather, natural disasters, mechanical breakdowns, or strikes. And we've all been affected by it one way or the other, either ourselves or your clients. You know, all of a sudden, someone in France has had to go on strike, or the water uh, goes too low or too high. Um, and other unfortunate things happen, like natural disasters. But this covers them, and there's nothing out of pocket. Emerald is paying for it. So we still encourage you to do medical insurance or cancel for any reason insurance. That's something separate. That protects like their airfare and themselves, you know, bad hair day insurance. But this takes care of the cruise for these particular situations, and it's basically free, right? There's nothing extra to pay. So Phoenix, Emerald, we're the only companies putting this out there as a cruise guarantee. It's a biggie. And we're going to do a much better job of kind of getting the word out about it. Now, since you were here today, you got a kind of a double bonus. You know, you've got that Phoenix, excuse me, the Emerald Specialist Program to take. And, of course, once you do in book, you can get $100 for your client because you came to this training. Here is the agent training savings voucher. Up on screen, you can save your client $125 per person. So $250 off a couple, which is how most of them book. And there's the code EWUAGMT14. Now that covers them for the next two weeks. So, you know, get your specialist done and get your clients booked the next two weeks. You're going to save them $250. You become the hero. No one else can get that unless they're on this training. Now, if you wait too long, then after 14 days, up to 30 days, then they'll save $75 a person. And again, there's the code EWUAGMT30. So make note of it, be a hero to your client, offer them the most terrific value out there in River Cruise that is still innovative and modern and fresh and fun. So uh, there are some other offers uh, available that have been extended till May 15th. So there's some 2018 and 2017 prices that is all combinable with that voucher for training as well as to thank you for when you take the specialist program. And then, Lorene, you know, I know that we've got some time for Q&A here, so um, before I forget, there is going to be a, a iTunes gift card, so we'll have to figure out who's going to win that. But while oh. we do that, why don't we do some questions and uh, see what you got out there. Sounds awesome. Let's see. For some of the questions, people were asking, rightfully so, about about the airport transfers. Does that happen just a day? What if they want to come in a couple of days early and they're at the hotel or the airport? Can you talk a little bit about how that airport transfer works? Sure. Yeah, the basics are this. Airport transfers are absolutely included for day of embarkation and disembarkation. Now, if they do come in early or stay late, then that's simple. Just use our pre and post hotels and we include the transfers for that as well. Um, other than that, it's going to be on their own. You know, that's a logistical situation where if they want to come in five days earlier, they, they come in even two days earlier and choose not to necessarily use our hotels. Well, they're going to have to make them, uh, make their way to the port on their own. Gotcha. 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 All right. That we said that I went, oh, that's a really good question. Um, another question that was asked is where is the radiance going to be sailing? Oh, yeah, sorry. So that's going to be on the uh, Danube. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll have the um, Liberté south of France, and we'll have um, Destiny on the Duro, but the Radiance is going to be another ship on the, on the Danube. Perfect, perfect. Uh, one of the agents was asking, uh, and this was when you were referencing the, the alcohol packages, um, and for the people who are non-drinkers, and you'd mentioned theirs, is the, uh, the coffee package complimentary, or is there a charge for that? Oh, thanks. No, I appreciate the clarification. Yeah, beer, excuse me, um, coffee, tea, soft drinks <laughs> are all included. If you're with Lorene and I, beer, we'll buy you a beer. 
But uh, for, those that don't, for those that aren't drinkers, yeah, no worries. You got them covered with coffee, tea, soft drinks, um, waters. Uh, you got it. Yep. Uh, as far as drink packages, and I apologize, I don't have the middle middle price off the top of my head, but the last pricing I had for the drink packages for those like me that might enjoy a drink, I think beer pack, which is like nine euro a day. Um, I can't remember the middle one, but let's guess and don't hold it to me, but I want to say it's like maybe 11 or 11 or $13 for like beer and wine. And then the one with beer, wine and spirits is like 19 euro a day. But if you have specific drinkers, let me know and I'll email me and I'll, I'll get those specifics for you. And those are available for them on ship. We don't pre-sell those. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. In other words, they're not commissionable. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. But you know, it's amazing. Sometimes too, we realize that people might get that, but then they get there and they realize, oh, wait a minute, you know what? We're just doing beer and wine ourselves. And maybe we'll, <clears throat> maybe somehow a bottle of wine arrives in our seat somehow from when we were on shore. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Another good question. I, I think I think I, I personally just have figured out how we're going to do this uh, iTunes gift card. By the way, so um, did, cool. did you I'm roll with it. me on this one, Mark? Because I I, I have a plan uh, okay. when we're done with the Q and A. Uh, one of the agents asks: Are we limited to how many guests or how many clients we can use the discount group, uh, coupon for? And are the uh, vouchers combinable with groups. Yes, I know. What uh, a puzzle piece, group. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're not you're not limited. If you got a group of twenty and you want to save them all 125 dollars per guest, talk about being a hero. You'd be a big hero for that group. So go for it. And it's uh, absolutely combinable with groups. So go nuts and let uh, us know how we can help you. Yeah, as you're like, yeah, bring it on, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, do you have solo cabins, or is it a percentage? Do different cruise lines do different things? Yeah, so I think uh, I think there's a, a double question in there. What it is is yes, we have solo suites available. You saw them on the uh, uh, slides earlier. So all of the starships on Emerald have a at least one, sometimes two solo suites. Uh, they're a little bit smaller. They're you know usually just like the, have the twin bed in there for the one person. And then I think the other part of this question is, what about single rates? And typically the single rates are going to be 100%, right? So if they're traveling by themselves, but they want the double occupancy room for some reason, then they would pay 100%. Uh, sometimes though, we'll have some dates that uh, maybe it's a softer date or maybe a special date that we'll actually do some uh, single waivers on. So keep an eye on that. Uh, you, those come up at different times of the year. Um, so if you do have someone that all of a sudden, here it is, May 1st, and they say, gee, I really want to go in July, they might get lucky. And we may have something where like, hey, let's you know, sell this at uh, half price, if you will, and offer it to some civil traveling. Next question. Do you offer triple occupancy as well? Unfortunately, no. There's no adjoining rooms, and it's only double occupancy. So mom and dad can't bring the kid. Oh, and if there are kids that want to come, just before that question comes up, it's 12 and older. And frankly, I don't think I've seen anyone on the ships under 40. Um, it's just not geared for everything. You know, can't be all things to all people. But for the folks that want to uh, do bring the kids along, um, it's 12 and up. Perfect, perfect. Um, speaking of groups, how many is considered a group? Typically, for every nine paying passengers, uh, you're going to get one TC. That's kind of what the answer really needs to be for folks to get down to the bottom line. So, you know, bring, bring nine paying passengers, and you, you get to go along with them. And that just continues on. So if you got 18 or if you got 27, just like the person that wants to use the voucher for the groups, the more the merrier, happy to support you. Perfect, perfect. Um, and, you know, just giving a shout out about your program. It works great. It's easy to order the catalogs. They're very classy, nice looking catalogs, which is really nice. Because um, oh, I know we're in the day and age where people want to be paperless, right? But the reality is, if you want your clients to look at something, you need to have a catalog. So there's this kind of weirdness going on. Well, we want to see things. Well, let me put a catalog in your hand. Thank you. You know. 
<laughs> You're so, so very right. I'm amazed sometimes that people spend thousands of dollars and they get e-docs. And so this is part of the Phoenix family of brands thing too, Lorraine. So thanks for even mentioning this. You get real catalogs, you get real brochures, gorgeous. And trust me, they, they're a pretty penny to produce. Um, the other thing though is they'll get nice documents that come to them as well. With you know, document wallet, all the things in there. And that can come to the agent to have that relationship so they can hand it over. Or if the agent wants to send it to a client because they live in Timbuktu, then we can do that for them too. But uh, thanks for that shout out. That's that's uh, something sometimes we forget those little fine touches when we're putting down a couple thousand bucks for a trip. Absolutely. And it always amazes me, and I'll just compare to generic mass market. As you said, you spend thousands of dollars, and the cruise line sends you the information to print for your clients, including the luggage tax. Like, thanks. Well, they're too expensive. Yeah, so now it becomes my responsibility. Thank you. <laughs> right. Yeah, not a, not an emerald. We, we've got no. you taken care of. We want to reach out to the folks that already know us and love us and book us, as well as the folks that maybe not real familiar with emerald waterways and are kind of, no pun intended, putting their toe in the water with us. You know, just <laughs> give us a holler. Let us know how we can support your cause, come out to do a cruise event with you. Gather up 20, 40, 60 of your closest friends and wow them with some of the innovation. So, Lorraine, thanks for having us again. You know, we love NACTA and we are members of AFTA and support you guys as much as we can. So, just let us know how we can deliver. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And the one last question that was up, it was at the person was asking, is coffee, tea, and water uh, included in the answer? We said yes. That's uh, get get water uh for those of us who only drink uh coffee uh yes yay so there's no additional package um you know what i decided and i did i did this i made an executive com decision for you mark sorry because you and i forgot to talk about the gift card before oh, we yeah, hit yeah. record oops um i hate when i forget things uh i would like to give it to the person who asked the most questions Sure, that's kind of a high level of engagement, right? Exactly, exactly. This person was totally engaged, asked a ton of questions. And oh, you know what? I like when people do that. And so I will connect you with Anita. She is one of our NACTA members. Uh, well and done, she's Anita. Pretty awesome. Yep, good job, Anita. She didn't know I was going to do this. She's asking a ton of questions in the background. And uh, just, uh, again, just to tell people group participation pays off. There you go. So, you Mark, go. I'm. I want to thank you again. We're just hitting up at the witching hour. And as always, it's great to work with you. Um, and, you know, we've worked together before. And just so you guys know, they have a new person on their team who was sweet and kind and nice. And she, you know, was being appropriate in introducing us together. And Mark and I both just laughed. Uh, yeah, know her, know him. So <laughs> <laughs> right. always easy to work with. So. All right. Thank you, everybody. I will be sending out uh, the recording for this uh, within the next 24 to 36 hours, uh, including information about how you, too, can sign up for their specialist program and take advantage of getting trained appropriately on this information and be able to go out there and sell, sell, sell. Thanks, All right, Lorraine. Thanks. Thanks, All right. Mm -hmm. Bye, everybody.